Last year in its Global Talent Trends report, LinkedIn cited soft skills as vitally important for career success. At the top of the list, creativity. And it's no wonder, creativity is the ability to perceive the world in new ways and find hidden patterns, to make connections between seemingly disparate things and to generate innovative solutions. When you're creative, you're able to turn new and imaginative ideas into reality. From Branson and Ferris to Spielberg and Jobs, business leaders say creativity in the workplace is essential. Here are five ways top leaders say to cultivate your creativity. Number one, ask big questions. Daniel Pink says asking why can lead to understanding. Asking why not can lead to breakthroughs. Asking big questions like what if and why not can reframe processes and products and create an environment that fosters big ideas. It challenges conventional thinking and it helps you arrive at solutions you may not have considered had you not questioned the status quo. Number two, pay attention. Steve Jobs said, creativity is connecting things. When you ask creative people how they did something, they feel a little guilty because they don't really do it. They just saw something. It seemed obvious to them after a while. When you tap into your awareness, you notice details others miss. Creative people use all of their senses and are especially observant. They lead with their curiosity and play connect the dots with ideas and thoughts. They see possibilities and potential by merely paying attention. Number three, be open-minded. Richard Branson says that the most thought-provoking, game-changing people are never normal. Maintaining a closed or fixed mindset is a creativity killer. Challenge yourself to consider new ideas from unfamiliar sources. Engage in discussions with people who don't share your views or background. Seek out unusual experiences. And when you open your mind to what's beyond your status quo, you make room for innovation and discovery. Number four, set aside time to let your mind wander. Yes, really. Tim Ferriss says, creativity is an infinite resource. The more you spend, the more you have. Though at first glance, allowing yourself time to daydream seems counterproductive to creativity, research suggests otherwise. People who reported more frequent daydreaming during the day scored higher on creative and intellectual tests. Plus, building in free time means your brain is in a more relaxed state, which is more conducive to creativity. And finally, number five, don't be afraid to take risks. Steven Spielberg says, replace fear with creativity. Creativity often yields many ideas. Some of these will be great, some will be mediocre, and some might even fail miserably. But a creative person doesn't dwell on the clunkers. He or she views all of them as fuel to spur on their continuous creative thinking. When you allow yourself the freedom to produce new ideas without fear, you up your chances of creating something no one has thought of before. And perhaps the best way to think about cultivating your creativity comes from Albert Einstein, who said, creativity is intelligence having fun.